I'm David Lackey from Roland Systems Group Australia and we're here at the Jam Gallery in Bondi Junction. We've just been doing some uh, unique recording, live venue, and uh, we've just finished up and it's been very, very successful. He was the leader of the pack and his boys would always hang back and wait for his cues, wait for his leave, wait for his... We have uh, Roland V mixing system, which uh, in this case it's slightly expanded. It's a M480 V mixing console, which is a 48 channel console system. S4000 stage box, which is a Cat5 driven stage box with 32 inputs and 8 returns, and an 0816, which is in the amp rack, so that we've got returns from the console to a dedicated amp rack, which can go to the fallback wedges. We're also using an R1000, uh, which is a 48 track. Uh, broadcast WAV digital multi-track recorder that connects directly via Cat5 to both the stage box and the console which offers us some really, really unique ways of operating. Being an underground venue in the middle of Bono Junction, what are some of the unique sound challenges that this particular space uh, offers up and how is the rolling gear used to solve those challenges? Well, one of the, the M480 console in itself has uh, is a fully featured 48 channel digital console. So with that in mind, there's a full complement of precision graphic, uh, 31 band graphic EQs, there's parametric graphics, there's um, parametric on the inputs, parametric on the outputs. Um, basically that just allows us to sculpt the audio, both from, a, from the source point of view and also playback, um, to basically make compensate for any sort of any issues that might sort of come up in the room sound. Venues like this often have quite a few operators go through at a time. It's a, you know, a live venue. People yep. bring their sound guys in. Yep. How are they going to know how to use that? Okay, the, one of the, 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 the real pluses of the Roland v mixing system is absolute walk-up start ease of operation. Unlike a lot of other systems, uh, the v mixing system, uh, if you're even slightly used to an analog console or any other digital console, you'll walk up to this and it'll make complete sense. So with just a few button pushes, you're never read too far. It's not a menu driven system. There's dedicated switches and buttons for everything. So basically you just walk up and if you even have the smallest amount of background knowledge about audio mixing, you'll be able to get a sound out of our system. Okay, so today was very, very uh, a, a unique thing. We were filming um, a live performance of band and uh, for another product of ours, the VR50, which is a vision mixer and uh, web casting system, um, we wanted to record the band, capture a live performance, which we can do into the R1000, but rather than having the band play through time, over time, over time to do the shots, uh, we wanted to capture one take and then be able to play that take back to the band so that they could mine. Normally in a system where you'd have to repatch that to get that working, one of the, 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 the real special points of the R1000 M480 console situation is it's a single piece of Cat5 between the two, bi-directional communication, which means basically while you're recording, you're capturing everything from stage and when you play back, all you need to do is play back from the R1000 and those exact channels that you've recorded into the R1000 will come back through the exact same channels on the desk, which means all your compression or your routing is exactly the same. So the band can just sit there and basically listen back to the, the mix exactly as it was recorded. Um, less fatigue on the band, less fatigue on the engineers, less fatigue on the camera crew.